Hey guys, I'm currently editing this video and I think I've decided to leave it pretty raw and relatively unedited. I'm gonna leave in the banter between my husband and I because I think it really helps illustrate what it's like disbudding for the very first time. A lot of videos on YouTube about disbudding have been from people who have done it many times before. This is my first time disbudding a dairy goat and this is how it went. I think I'll probably voice over if I even plan to post this. Yeah. Because I want to be able to focus on what I'm doing instead of, like, I can't try to teach it because I've never done it. Right. GFCI is strongly recommended. Don't have it. Mm -mm. A lot of people probably don't have it outside. No. Never use extension cords. It, has, it says to let it heat up for 10 minutes. I mean... Yeah, you don't want it to be not quite hot enough when you yeah. hit her with it first. Yeah. Just drag it out. I know, Shug. I know. Because I have to hold her like this. Yeah. Some people put their finger in for more control, and I might do that. You know, it looks like barbaric, but... You can actually hold her yeah. without like hurting her face down here, you know? Yeah. I gotta let it heat up. I know I didn't have, I only had one of the plug. Could have used the other plug for the thing. See him? Mm hmm. But I was thinking about it. Like, I could take her to Dr. Flannery and have Dr. Flannery do it. But like to have the best control of Skurs and to be less stressful on her and Christine. Like, I might as well do it. I have all the crap. Yeah. And not waste half a day driving and gas. Yeah, and like $250 worth of gas. <laughs> Opie, I'm not happy about it either, baby. I'm sorry. National average is almost double what it was um, two, a year and a half, two years ago. The good thing about La is that ah! they don't have ah! the ears to get in the way. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a pulled La Mancha. La Manchas are a pretty new breed. I think they were recognized in the 50s, like officially put in the herd books in the 50s. Mm. And so I don't know if that's, if pole genetics are part of like a purebred La Mancha. I can tell you. That's what I'm supposed to be looking for. Complete ring. Yep. But then it has to heat up more from touching that. Right. This is my leather glove that I have. <laughs> that fits me. I didn't want to use a gardening glove. Hopefully I'm able to have dexterity still. Yeah. that copper ring yeah 
this will pop off. So I'm gonna go back over this one. The bleeding is kind of expected sometimes from what I've read. I would think so. This isn't as bad as I expected. Pretty gnarly. I know, but like I didn't actually see Dr. Flannery do it. Everyone I've seen picks it off. But I can't really get it. See, it seems like that would just leave an open wound. I, mean, I don't understand why you would pick it off. Yeah, maybe I won't. Dr. Flannery had us at the end of the day, so her office wouldn't stink. She barely fits in that box with wife. Did your time? How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up, just hold on tight, it'll be alright. Christine has been extraordinarily well bonded to Elpis. So one of the last things that I've worried about at all is the fact that Christine could have rejected Elpis after the procedure because Elpis just smells like burnt hair. Sometimes does don't really recognize their baby after the procedure because of that. We've had and currently have some goats with some pretty bad horn scurs. A horn scur is basically horn tissue that's not really attached to a central vascular line that is really weak and it just grows in this really weird horny type structure that is kind of unsightly. But both of my La Manchas, my adult La Manchas that I have right now have excellent disbudding. There's no horn scurs at all. I'm hoping that by performing this procedure on Elpis at five days old that we can really nip it in the bud as it were and hopefully not get any horn scurs out of her disbudding either. As far as I know that is something that can be corrected if we're noticing that she's developing horn scurs but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. A lot of people I've noticed um, from watching disbudding videos on YouTube, they'll pick out that center part of what's been disbudded, that horn nub or horn cap, if you will. I couldn't get it to come off. A few people have said it's not really necessary to take it off. The tissue's dead anyway, and it will fall off. It started to bleed when I tried to take the cap off, so I went ahead and left it.
How you feeling? I wouldn't say that I am Disbudding's number one fan, but I used to dislike Disbudding much more than I do now, and I've recently changed my mind. Here's a video explaining all of that. She can't stand that she's not the center of this video. You're not, but I'll put you in it, if you insist. She insists. 